Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about stable vicuña, which is obviously an iteration of an iteration of an iteration of the name llama. Llama, then there was alpaca, then there was vicuña. These are all very similar animals, so it's kind of continuing that theme. And this is by Stability AI. They made Stable Diffusion, they made Stable LM, and they are absolutely on a tear lately. Now they've released Stable Vicuña, which is, uh, according to them, the world's first open source RLHF, reinforcement learning through human feedback, LLM chatbot. So essentially a fully open source LLM based on Llama that has been not only uh, instruction tuned, which I'll explain what that is in a second, but it's also had reinforcement learning through human feedback. So actually collecting data as people use these models and training the model based on that feedback, which is a really powerful way to make these models a lot better. And this is what OpenAI has done for a while now. So we're gonna take a look at the blog post and then we're gonna test it out. And so what they talk about in this blog post is the success of chatbots like ChatGPT has been for two reasons, two technologies, RLHF, reinforcement learning through human feedback, and instruction tuning, basically giving it a bunch of examples of here's an instruction and here's the type of output I expect. And with these two technologies combined, we've seen an explosion in quality of these large language models. And so here they talk about recently, Open Assistant, Anthropic, and Stanford have begun to make chat RLHF datasets readily available to the public. Those datasets combined with straightforward training of RLHF provided by TRLX are the backbone for first large-scale instruction fine-tune and RLHF models we present today, Stable Vicuña. And again, it's open source, so that's great. Now, since it's based on the Llama model, I don't believe it's commercially open source, so just keep an eye on that. Now, this is Stable Vicuña, a further instruction fine-tuned and RLHF trained version of Vicuña V013B, so that's the 13 billion parameter model, which is an instruction fine-tuned Llama 13B model. So if you remember, there was Llama, the original model, then there was Alpaca, which is fine-tuning it based on instructions, and now we have stable Vicuña, which is RLHF and instruction tuning. And here it says you can ask it to help you with basic math, help you write code, and help you with grammar. Now we're gonna test all three of those, so we'll get into it in a second. Here they give a little bit about the performance. They also mention the Nomic AI GPT for all on this benchmark. And this is right now available on Hugging Face Hub, so you have an interface to use it in, and it's public. You don't need to run it locally, although you can. It's a huge model, so it will take a lot of processing power to run. So we're just gonna run it through Hugging Face Hub today. And last, they're announcing their upcoming chatbot interface. And so they're actually gonna give it an interface very similar to ChatGPT, so you don't have to use it through kind of the very basic Hugging Face Hub interface. So let's test it out. Here it is, it's at huggingface.co slash spaces slash carper AI slash stable vicuña. And let's give it a few tests. So first, the one that I always test first, write me a poem about AI, 50 words, hit enter. And if this interface looks familiar, it is Gradio. So here we go, the world is changing rapidly. AI dominates our lives now and forever. It's time we learn to accept it. Our future is AI, there is no other way. Okay, this is the second time I'm asking it this exact same prompt and this response is a little bit scary. It's pretty funny, I've not seen this before. So that's fine. Uh, it doesn't look like 50 words. Uh, let's try it again. Write me a poem about AI. 50 words. AI is the sun, warmth and comfort, a beacon in the night of tech. It guides and helps us along our journey, never leaving us behind. Okay, uh, this is very heavy stuff. So um, yeah, I mean, the, the it looks pretty good. It's not 50 words, but it's fine. Next, let's have it write us some code. So write me Python code that counts to 100. Now it is a little bit slow, I've noticed, especially as compared to GPT 3.5. So let's test this out. I made a new file, we're gonna hit play, and it worked. Counted to 99, but it started at zero. So that's 100 numbers. Great. I suspect if you get into more complex coding, it's not going to work as well as GPT 3.5 or even especially GPT 4. Next, let's give it a reasoning problem. So Mark is faster than Mary. Mary is faster than Joe. Is Joe faster than Mark? So the answer is going to be no, but let's see what it says. Because if Mark is faster than Mary, Mary is faster than Joe, there's no way Joe can be faster than Mark. Again, a little bit slow. Okay. 
Okay, so I think maybe it froze. Let's try it again. I'm gonna click stop. I'm gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna enter the prompt again, hit send, and let's see if it works this time. Does not seem to be working right now. Okay, so there's the answer. Based on the information given, it cannot be determined whether Joe is faster than Mark. The statement only provides a comparison of the speeds of Mary and Joe's speeds relative to one another, but not their relationships to Mark's speed. Now, that's not true. If Mark is faster than Mary and Mary is faster than Joe, Joe cannot be faster than Mark. So it got that wrong. It got that wrong earlier in my testing. And when I tested stable LM, when I tested GPT 3.5, all of these systems got it wrong but GPT-4 got it right. So now let's give it a more basic prompt. Write me an email to my boss, letting them know I am leaving the company. So it's running incredibly slowly right now. So I'm gonna speed through this as it gives me the output. Okay, so let's start to go over it as it's finishing up. I am writing to inform you that I have made the decision to resign from my position at the company. My final day of work will be, then enter the date, I have thoroughly enjoyed working with all of you, and I am grateful for the opportunities that I have been given during my time here. I have learned a great deal from all of you, and I will always treasure the memories and experiences that I've had during my time at the company. I am confident that the company will continue to thrive and grow under your leadership. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you need anything before my departure. Sincerely, your name. So that's a pretty straightforward boilerplate email about leaving the company. So it's pretty good. Nothing special, nothing bad. Overall, it's a, it's a fine exit email. So that's Stable Vicuña. It's very, very slow right now. Maybe it's being used a lot, but give it a try. I'll link everything in the description below. And if you like this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.